Singapore's clean energy workforce is expected to grow by 60%, or about 1,000 workers over the next decade. That's why the nation is stepping up training for workers and students to ensure they are ready to take on new roles. Nasha Rahim with more. Electrical engineering student Desmond Neo is at the Singapore International Energy Week to explore his options in the power sector. He's finding out how what he's currently learning can be applied to new jobs in the sector. These include design for solar deployment and managing clean energy storage. It interests me as how the electric, how the energy sector is becoming more smarter as days goes by, like uh, moving on with the technologies like uh, smart grid and automation. So it motivates me to be part of this journey as I'm able to learn new skills, more technical skills and apply the technical skills that I learned to improve the energy efficiency and reliability. Nian Polytechnic has revamped its electrical engineering diploma. The change seeks to ensure that future cohorts are even more prepared to take on roles in clean energy. For instance, the revised coursework will involve hands-on training to put them in good stead to get certified in specific types of electrical work. So this ensures that they receive the necessary training uh, to better prepare them to become uh, licensed electrical workers who are the backbone of our electrical infrastructure and systems in Singapore. And this will help ensure that we have a continuous renewal of the manpower uh, pipeline for our energy sector. In line with this renewal, those looking to switch careers or fresh graduates can turn to new courses on skills needed for renewable energy integration and smart grids. These efforts will fill the skills gap in an evolving energy market, especially in areas like automation, new clean energy projects and other upcoming green infrastructure. Our goal is to achieve net zero by 2050. The power sector, which accounts for about 40% of our total greenhouse gas emissions in Singapore, is undergoing transition to reduce its carbon footprint. The sector needs more talent and skilled workforce to support the decarbonisation efforts. Large companies like Samcorp Solar Singapore are also stepping up efforts to help the energy workforce stay relevant. They plan to train up to 100 professionals to use digital tools in the energy industry. That's as the solar market taps emerging technologies like artificial intelligence. This will run until 2027.